Okay, this tutorial is to show you how to create an assignment so that the students could submit their work in Blackboard and then you can grade it within Blackboard. Okay, I'm going to go to a course that I am teaching right now. Uh, it happens to be a World Geography course. And I'm going to go to a content area and I have an area over here called Course Assignments. So I'm going to open up an area here. Okay, first thing I need to make sure I do, uh, have the edit mode on over here on the right, so that is on. Now I'm going to go down here and go into one of my empty um, module areas. I'm going to go to Southeast Asia, and I'm going to click on this folder. This is where I want to put an assignment, let's say, on Southeast Asia. Okay, you'll notice uh, right here, I in the assessments area, you can create an assignment. All right, so this is where I'm going to put the assignment. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to give me a kind of a, a blank form to fill out. All right, and so here it says name and color. In this case, I'm just going to call it a paper. All right. Well, if I can only spell. All right, then in this area, um, instructions, please submit your PDF paper. All right. And you'll notice if I scroll down, If I, want, if I have an assignment here that I want to uh, attach some kind of file, let's say for the assignment, let's say if I had a rubric or something of that nature, I, I could attach it by clicking that area right there. Uh, I could make sure that there's a due date. So if you click on that, you can create a due date. In this case, I'm not. This is where it's really important. Uh, if you use a point system like I do, uh, some of my papers are worth, I have small writing papers. I'm going to make it 10 points, and then you'll notice under Submission Details, if you'll click that, uh, you can uh, make it an individual uh, submission. Uh, there are some plagiarism tools, and this is a, a new addition to Blackboard. I haven't played with that very much, but I'm just going to make it an individual submission. Click on that. Uh, grading Options, I'll click there. Um, I could... Uh, call it enabling uh, the anonymous grading or I could delegate other people to grade in this case I'm not going to mess with that and then the display of grades uh, I want to display the grade as a score uh, I'm not going to have a secondary display I do want the grade center calculations and I do want my students to be able to see my grades when I grade it alright so I'm going to keep that as it is all right, you're going to make the assignment available by clicking that. This is where you can limit the availability of the assignment and then click Submit. All right, so this is the way you submit the assignment. So you'll see the icon right here. This is what the students uh, see. So the students, I'm going to turn off the edit mode for a second. And so, assuming you have some instructions here uh, in this module, there's the paper. If the students click on paper, the assignment will come up. It will tell them how many points possible. There's the instructions. And this thing, I'm telling them that I want them to submit a formatted PDF. All right, there are two ways they could submit it. I usually tell them in this area, which I didn't use that as an example, that I want them to attach the file. So you tell them here, attach the file, so they would then, of course, select Browse My Computer, go to their desktop area, and select their file. And the file would be selected there. If you want, you could tell the students in the right submission area that they could actually type their paper there. I generally don't do that. I usually want them to submit their paper. All right, so I'm going to eliminate that. I don't want that. 
and I'm going to click that again, get it back, because what I want them to do is submit their paper here. So I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to I'm going to find a file and submit it, and then show you what it looks like in the grading area. All right, so I'm going to uh, if I can find a file here that I have. Okay, there's a PDF. I'm going to choose PDF. Shows right there. I can add any comments I want them to. Uh, the student can act, actually write comments to the teacher right there. And then you're going to click Submit. Okay, so... Of course, being a faculty, uh, it's not going to accept my paper. The point is, when the students do it, it will submit it into Blackboard. Now, since I put in a uh, grade or a, a point total, it's going to automatically show up in the Grade Center. And so you'll click over here on the Grade Center, and under Needs Grading, it will show you every student that has submitted a paper. Now, you'll notice right here I actually have some people that have submitted a discussion board because I I also grade my discussion boards so for instance if I click grade all now I can grade anything that's submitted either discussion board in the fact that I put points to it or a uh, an assignment and this is basically what you see when they submit it this is a discussion board and a paper would simply show up in the same area and then in the grade area you can put the number of points you can then put feedback right here and submit you can uh, uplift or upload rather uh, files back to the student that way it's a really really nice way of uh, using Blackboard for paper submission and you'll have a complete copy of their paper it's in Blackboard it's not using email and I suggest that well, I hope this helps you. If there's any questions, let me know.